1987, after years of success on TV, G.I. Joe was to receive their own animated feature film. Yet for some inexplicable reason, they changed their successful formula of fighting Cobra, a ruthless terrorist organization determined to rule the world, to fighting a subterranean reptilian people who are Cobra's founders and their starship trooper-like bug kingdom. Don't get me wrong, there were great parts to this movie, especially the awesome opening sequence. But this movie was the end of an era for our beloved real American heroes. For the TV show, this was the end of the Sunbow Run. And for the toys, it was pretty much the end of the military toys in a contemporary sense. From this point on, with small exception, the line would be a lot more sci-fi and space-based, replacing tanks and cannons with spaceships and bouncing battle balls. One could say this is when they jumped a shark. The Cobra la 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 call was reminiscent of the Smurf song. As far as the toy line goes, the only Galobulus action figure ever to be released was part of the A Real American Hero Toys 1987 series. He was carded in a three-pack with Nemesis Enforcer and Royal Guard as the Cobra Law Team Pack. While the cartoon version of Cobra Law was fairly impressive, these toys fell way short. Nemesis and Porsche's wings were so small, they almost looked cute. Far from the menacing creeper-like wings depicted in the movie. And Galobulus had a snake tail that was semi-bendable with a Gumby-like wire inside of it for a bit of malleability. A small bit though, and by small, it wasn't poseable at all. As far as play value, you could only kind of kangaroo him around. Not very intimidating at all. And if you're trying to pose him in some sort of adult collector diorama, forget about it. The Royal Guard was the figure that held up the best. But who brings an axe to a gunfight? For years I pondered why don't more collectors, myself included, embrace Cobra Law? Is it the movie? It's really not a bad movie. Is it the characters? Some of those creatures were pretty awesome, especially Pythona. Thinking long and hard about this and doing my own research has led me to believe there was a twofold problem. First of all, the toys sucked, especially Galobulus. And leaving Pythona out of the line was a travesty. Secondly, the movie was a finish line for most of our time with G.I. Joe. The run of the show for me ran while I was between age 7 and 12. I didn't even know there was a geek show until years after it ended. No, this is when a big part of my childhood died. I was moving on to Nintendo and girls soon after. As an adult collector, when they finally released the Pythona figure, I was all over it. Maybe Cobra Law doesn't suck as bad as I thought. While hunting for custom figure fodder, I accidentally stumbled across some figures by a company called Vitruvian Hacks. They offer a ton of cool figures at the 3.75 scale. While I was browsing these figures, I came across a half-man, half-snake figure called Berserker. Man, I thought, I could use this to customize a legit Galobulus. I fished around a bit more to try and find just a tail for cheaper since I didn't need a whole figure. I came across a figure called Green Mamba Gorgon who had a tail for sale a la carte at the price point I was looking for. When it arrived, I was able to figure out my own hack to fasten the tail to a random Galobulus I had in my archive. I must say I am somewhat impressed with the look of this figure now. I can finally pose him with the rest of Cobra. I have had my Pythona in the mix since I got her, even though she is built in the Marvel Universe style and I prefer O-ring figures. Now I can bring in Galobulus too. I do think the darker green of the Berserker would have made a more screen accurate Galobulus tail, but I must admit the varying yellow and green of the Gorgon has a nice contrast as well. Maybe one day I will stumble across some better wings for Nemesis Enforcer, 
so he might be able to join in the fray. Or maybe not. Maybe time doesn't heal all wounds. Maybe Cobra Law will always be as synonymous with the death of G.I. Joe as Yoko Ono is to the breakup of the Beatles. Either way, I now know of a cool new toy company in Vitruvian Hacks 